Hey guys, welcome back to Tealstone Homestead. This week we're really excited to show you how we made the quail hutch. Let's get right into it. Okay, so problem right off the bat. Um, none of this wood is pink and green. Uh, so where do we start? Do I need to go get the pink wood or what? <laughs> Wanna be free of this heart. I wanna feel your arms around me I need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's old. Yeah. Okay guys, so what we have right here is the very first side of the quail hutch. We decided to make the sides first and then um, kind of sandwich it with the metal pieces afterwards. But um, this area right here is where the tray is gonna go. Obviously it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like this though. It looks a little wobbly right now, but it'll even out. There's gonna be a wire bottom floor and that is gonna be attached on the topmost parts of it. So we gotta get the other side done and then we will attach them together. Okay, we have both the side supports done now, or the, I guess the side, the whole side of the hutch, I guess. So here's what we have to do now. We have to drill through these, hopefully missing that original screw. And we have these longer pieces here that are going to be attached here. So uh, I guess you guys can just see how we're going to be doing this. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. All right guys, here is the quail hutch, the bare bones of the quail hutch. We still need to paint it. This is what I was talking about though. This part right here is where our trays are gonna slide in. We're gonna put a PVC coated wire bottom floor on this up here. Oh, that reminds me, babe. We actually need to put two supports in here, like going this way. So we need to do that still. Um, I think one of our legs is slightly Slightly shorter, but when we put the casters on, we might be able to fix that that wobbliness just from just can't find good like right there. <laughs> but yeah, so it looks really good. We're so excited about it. If you are wondering, it is going to be two feet by four feet. Apparently, one it is. Per square foot. Yeah, apparently it is one square foot per quail. But we are going to try to give them a little bit more room than that. We're going to give them a dust bath in there too. So but yeah, so now we are going to assemble our doors and we're gonna have two doors on each level so four doors total okay so we forgot several pieces last time we showed you this but these front pieces right here so our doors can fit in and then also these supports down here so the trays actually have something to sit on um, but yeah so this is getting close to being done on the frame so Jameson is currently getting in these braces and that's going to help our, our legs just to stay nice and square over time. Uh, they're going to go on both the front and the back and the sides. We have them all over here just waiting. So you look very comfortable. <laughs> We are wheeling this into the shop so we can uh, sand it down real quick at Tiffany's behest. And uh, <laughs> after that's done, we're going to paint it. Sanded. Just got it sanded. I uh, got a little of those, um, you know, sharpies and splinties out. 
We're gonna take it to the backyard and paint it. We don't know if we're gonna paint it white or gray or red or whatever color we have. Probably in there. yellow. We've got a red chicken Wait, coop. We've we got a teal hutch. Now we need a primary yellow quail hutch. We don't have yellow though. I was thinking we could do brown and white. For some reason, I think quail, I think brown and white they are, brown. are pretty brown, are, are pretty colors for farm. So I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. We'll Let see. me know in the comments if you agree. Yeah. I really need to win something. <laughs> so we may have made a mistake. <laughs> we only got a quart of paint because we thought somehow that that would be enough for this entire thing. And I'm kind of thinking it's not gonna be enough, but we will try our darndest. Also, I will tell you guys that we did come to a compromise on the paint color. It's called throw rug. It's called throw rug, and it's a really nice like shade, sage, what, sageish green? Sage, olive. Olive green, like kind of a lighter. It's really pretty, so hopefully we have enough. I'm kind of doubting it, but let's start the painting time lapse. <laughs> going to have literally the thickest, most luxurious hardware cloth I have ever seen. It's PVC coated, it's 14 gauge. It was not cheap either, so um, it's gonna be really good for them though. Jameson is currently cutting out corners so we can wrap it into our structure, which is painted by the way. Turns out we had all that we needed to do most of the structure, but not enough to do the doors. So we are gonna have to pick up some extra paint, but that's okay. This is how we're cutting out the corners. And I'm hoping that this is gonna be enough. But we're gonna screw them down with those lath screws, um, sharp point lath screws. It's supposed to be like wood to metal. So that's how those are going on. We have the first level completed. Well, actually, I guess that would be the second level. The upstairs, we have the upstairs <laughs> completed. <laughs> deal gone absolutely right out of the back of a trunk. Uh, Kristen from uh, Whiskey Tango Farm, shout out, gave us 36 quail eggs, all like a variety of different uh, colors and everything. Very, oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> she did not know we were going to hatch them. She thought we were just going to eat them, but we had other plans because we had talked about quail 
uh, a while ago and getting that set up and uh, what a better time um, to go ahead and get that started. So we put the all the eggs in an incubator and let them sit for, what was it, three weeks? Uh, I think, is it 17 or 18 days? 17 or 18 days is like two and a half weeks. Yeah. We got these guys uh, and I think we have 26 or 27 happy, healthy, flappy chicks. At least 27 of them. At least two of them with really intense eyebrows that we called uh, Orly and Norly. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure Tiff will put the meme right up there on my face. <laughs> this one wants to go back in the box He's or is hungry. He's talking to me. What's your name? Aww. But it was really exciting to uh, watch them hatch because uh, she texted me at work a, uh, a video of three of them already hatched. By the time I came home, there were five. And then by the end of the night, we had 15. They're like popcorn. As soon as one goes, the, uh, the others do. So right now we're gonna wait uh, about two weeks, about a week and a half left uh, for us to put these chicks in the uh, quail hutch uh, where they will live out the rest of their lives happy and healthy. Well guys, here is the finished quail hutch. So we open it and that's how easily it opens. We have this nice 14 gauge expensive yes it was very expensive uh, PVC coated hardware cloth this is gonna be super nice for the quail's feet we just didn't want them to get sore feet unlike rabbits uh, quail don't have the furry padding on their feet so I was just thinking like this might be the better option for flooring for them but the rest of it is made with just the standard 19 gauge hardware cloth that you can get at tractor supply or Lowe's you want to show them how the trays work Poop goes into the tray. <laughs> we did end up putting hardware cloth in between here because I didn't want quail to be able to jump out. Um, well, you know, if I'm cleaning the top row, I don't want them to be able to jump out and fly away because we did find out that quail can fly. <laughs> There's so. a story behind that. <laughs> We also have hardware cloth on the top here, obviously. The way that we put the hardware cloth on is instead of, you know, staples and stuff like that, uh, we use these lath screws, or however you say it, um, and we just screw them in into the corners like that. We just figured, you know, instead of going the easy route with cheap staples, we could spend an enormous amount of money for these specialized They're stores. not that expensive. <laughs> but also these lath screws, they didn't cost hardly anything because most of them were from a different project, they were recycled. So we saved money. We did put casters on the bottom of it and I think we said we were gonna do that. So it's easy to roll around. Um, these are actually, I was worried that they were gonna be too small. They're actually really, really good. Um, it rolls really easily. We rolled it out here into the yard just to film for you guys because it's prettier out here. Overall, we're really happy with how it turned out. And honestly, I feel like this would make like a really good like rabbit hutch. And I told Jameson that. I'm like, if quail don't work out, this would be so, so nice for rabbits. I mean, it is 16 inches high. I know they say that quail don't, um, you're not supposed to give quail a very high roof. Um, because they do jump and they, they'll hit their head on the ceiling if they get frightened or whatever. Um, so we didn't want to give them a very high roof. So honestly, this is like the perfect like grow out cage for rabbits. So in case quail don't work out, which I think is very unlikely, um, then we could definitely put rabbits in here. <laughs> 